Hi everybody and welcome to my Unruly Housewife channel. It's quite a boring Sunday here today, it's quite dull weather so I decided to record a story time for you but this time it's a short anecdote and um, yeah it's only really got one joke in it <laughs> but if you stay to the end I will show you a photograph of myself when I was a baby looking like Elvis so there's every reason for you to hang in there and stay. <laughs> So this anecdote is set in the late 70s, I was probably about 20, I think it was my birthday, and my parents decided to take myself and then partner over to Canterbury to the Greek restaurant. Now I used to live, we all lived on the Isle of Sheppey in Kent, which is a really boring place. It's like a small island. Um, the most exciting thing about it is there's a prison. <laughs> on the island and um yeah not not really a lot to do so it's very exciting to go to a greek restaurant in canterbury and um very exotic and this particular greek restaurant was quite the uh, place at the time because it used to have um, greek music and greek dancing and at the end of the evening everybody was allowed to smash their plates albeit not the ones you're eating off of um just unglazed plates but anyway you were allowed to smash them which wouldn't happen now health and safety you'd have to wear goggles anyway we went off to the greek restaurant and um we perused arrived were seated and we started perusing the menu um and of course we hadn't we weren't really familiar with the food on the menu and my mum was a bit concerned because she doesn't like spicy food and so she decided to ask the waiter um whether the food that she was going to you know on the menu was spicy so anyway we got to the restaurant we were seated and it was all very exciting and the waiter came along and he was a very good looking young man big loose dark curls um, olive skin white shirt you know undone at the neck and uh, just carried himself in a certain way very good looking I, think, I don't know how many times I said that but you know he was and my mum um, held the menu out to him and she pointed to one of the dishes and she said is this hot <laughs> Uh, because, you know, like I said, she didn't like spicy food. And he looked at her and, and he was quite sort of like a bit of confused look on his face as if he didn't know what she meant. And so in her best fake Greek accent, she said, Is these odd? <laughs> she sounded more French than anything. Is these odd? Really, really patronising. And he thought for a moment and then he said, do you mean heated or pungent, madam? <laughs> and, my, and I just, I just couldn't stop laughing. And I literally had to go, as you Americans might say, to the restroom. <laughs> when people say that they laugh so much, they nearly wet themselves. I actually had to go to the restroom because the toilet because I was laughing so much <laughs> and my mum was it when I came back to the table she was like he did that on purpose <laughs> I said he didn't mum. he didn't mum he didn't know what you were on about <laughs> and uh, anyway she got her meal and it was heated and it wasn't pungent so she was very happy <laughs> and we all smashed the plates so that was the uh that's just me making fun of my mum, isn't it, really? But that was the anecdote. And um, being as this has been quite a short post, I will share with you this picture of me looking like Elvis when I was a baby. <laughs> Look at my hair. I was only four months old. It's amazing. I had a, I had a lot of hair for a four-month-old, didn't I? So... If you've got any follow-up anecdotes to that, any comments you'd like to make, um, any stories about Greece, I mean, subsequently, my parents did go to Greece quite a lot on holiday, so hopefully her accent improved. <laughs> also, while she was in Greece, I must say, there was a particular sort of wine, and I don't know what sort it was, but apparently every time she said the name of it, waiters would call other people over and get her to repeat it. 
and they'd gather around and, and laugh in a way that suggested that whatever she was saying sounded obscene. Anyway, that's nothing to do with it. So I hope you enjoyed the story. Um, I hope I'll be doing a polymer clay video soon and need to get my head around that. We've had all, lots of back and forth to Brandon's flat and stuff this weekend, moving things in, but it's all done now. So um, I'll say goodbye and I love you all. Like, subscribe.